Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to understand how you can be expressive with a man without being needy, well, stick around because I'll be expressing to you how to do just that on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to you.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and what I'll be sharing with you today is how you can be expressive without being needy. So here's what I mean. So many women find themselves in relationships that start out great and then go sour somewhere in the midst of making this love thing happening and start putting a lot of pressure on the guy and start expressing what they want in a way that seems unnecessarily needy. And instead of creating the effect that they want, which is for the guy to show up more and to say, you know what, I've done this wrong, let me make it up to you, let me change and correct course, they actually push more and get more distant. So what I'm going to share with you right now is not necessarily how you say something to the guy. I think that's important. We can pre perhaps, if there's interest, you can let me know in this video, uh, share some specific ideas on how to do just that. But what I want to focus on right now is how to create the conditions through which you can very naturally not express neediness when you're expressive, when you're connecting to a man. Does that make sense? The first piece of this whole uh, owning the root cause of not being needy would be to own your happiness. So here's what I mean by that. Sometimes when you enter a relationship that's passionate, you start to forget that you are absolutely 150% responsible for your happiness. So much so that you stop doing things for yourself, you stop connecting with your friends, you stop just focusing on life in a way that would make you feel absolutely connected and happy and fulfilled. And you start putting that weight onto your partner. So I don't care what method or technique of communication you use. If you're not owning your freaking happiness, then he's going to feel that weight of you on his shoulders. He's going to feel that he has to make you happy instead of he gets to bring and add happiness to your life. The moment he feels shit, I'm responsible for her happiness. When I'm not around, she feels bad. Or when I don't do this, then she feels horrible. Then he starts feeling the neediness. Okay, so own your happiness is the first step. Second step is don't enter a half-ass commitment. If the man is not at a place where he's shown and proven himself that here's where he needs to be, if the thing is still kind of forming and you make the premature decision of being exclusive with a dude who hasn't really earned it because you don't want to lose him and he's giving you like half of what you want and you say, well, I'll do it. Guess what? You're going to be needy because you're going to feel like you're not getting your needs met. So the second step into not expressing neediness, expressing yourself with fullness without being needy is don't enter a relationship that sucks. Don't enter a relationship that is kind of okay. If the guy is not doing what he needs to do to be a freaking man and enjoy uh, the process of pursuing you and making it clear that he wants commitment and then taking the steps after he commits, then don't entertain that. If you do entertain it, then again, the best communication techniques will not make up for the fact that you feel unfulfilled in the relationship. So you'll still voice things in an easy way. Okay. The third and last point I'll make today is State what you want when you do need to bring something up that is not right. Okay, let's say that you're owning your happiness and that you're not entering a half ass relationship and still, still, there's stuff that's going to show up that's not, I mean, that it's a relationship. So human beings are not perfect and challenges and shit will arise regardless. So when you need to bring something up, you need to bring it up from a place of worth instead of from a place of fear. So bring something up from a place of worth regardless of the outcome. So here's what I mean by that. You need to be able to share and express what you want without fear of the person leaving you. If something you say creates or causes the man that you're with to leave you, then that is a very clear indication he is not the man who needs to be with you. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't mean by this that you have a free pass to be rude or to be unthoughtful or to be disconsiderate of his heart, but you can't not share something because of fear of him walking away. You need to be able to, at any more point in the relationship, talk about things that you want in such a way that if it doesn't work out, that is the best thing for you. Okay? So there you have it. Three very simple 
but powerful ways of never expressing yourself in a needy way by managing the conditions that create a fulfilling and an amazing relationship. If you find this is helpful, useful, or insightful, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or on a link somewhere on your screen here, you're gonna see a pop-up show up that allows you to sign up to a free webinar that I'm hosting where you'll be able to learn how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff and absolutely free. Have any questions for me, place a comment on this video and I'll be happy to reply to you personally or create a video just for you with an answer. <laughs> Thank you.